This is the Galaxy Z Fold 3. I've been using it for three months. So let's find out how useful and good it's been in those three months. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and thank you for joining me on my three month review of the Galaxy Z Fold 3, which I took with me to San Diego to test drive the new Ionic 5 from Hyundai and I captured some really awesome footage with the Z Fold 3. So this is Samsung's latest flagship device for the year 2021. Now, this comes in technically in place of the Galaxy Note in terms of the release timeline during the year. And as a Note user myself, I was a bit perplexed about why I didn't get the Note, but the Z uh, Fold 3 brings in a lot to the table. Now, in terms of just pure hardware, this is an engineering marvel. The fact that this here, we now have water resistance with the device is truly amazing. Something that has a movable hinge uh, and also dual displays is also nice. Now, the cover display is still roughly the same size. The internal display is also slightly larger with the under display front facing camera, which I will say, look, it's not the best when you want to take photos with it, but it will suffice quite well for video calls. And it gives you much cleaner real estate for those, you know, gaming sessions or whether you're watching content. Uh, I think that really works out well. But as a Note user, we still miss the S Pen this year. And I think that's something that they added that really added a new touch to this device altogether. Being able to write and use in any form or function was just pretty good with the Z Fold 3. Of course, that's only done on the internal display and not on the cover display. So that is something I really want to see with this device moving forward. Now, you've got triple cameras on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and they're all 12 megapixels and they do take some really great photos. Now, uh, I was flying out to San Diego to go check out the Hyundai Ionic 5. I was able to take capture images, you know, uh, out the plane while we're having lunch and also of the Hyundai Ionic 5, which is a great vehicle. Honestly, it is slick, it is elegant, it's got this retro futuristic, yet just understandably awesome look to it that got everyone's attention while we're driving the car around. Now, besides all that, it packs in a lot of tech and a lot of punch into this vehicle. You've got a range of up to 303 miles, zero to 60 in less than five seconds, and you can get it in a dual or single motor configuration, which means of course you get all wheel drive with that, this bad boy. Now, you also have a massive trunk and a lot of space that makes it look like, yes, it looks like it's a small vehicle, but it's got a lot of space inside. There's a lot of space for the back seat, as well as, so, as, well as for the front seats and the driver with that full recline. Uh, seats while you're charging. Now, charging is super fast on this vehicle on the um, Electrify America network, and you've got dual displays uh, at the size of 12.3 inches with one a full touchscreen display at the center console that allows you to access Android Auto, uh, uh, Apple uh, CarPlay, as well as also the ability to, honestly, I love this feature though, to heat and cool your seats. Now, I live in the Northeast, so of course heating your, your seats is great, but Driving out, you know, in some steamy warm weather, cooling your seats as well is pretty nice. Now, if you want to find out more about this awesome vehicle, then definitely use the link down below and find out more about the Hyundai Ionic 5. So back to the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Like, what's the usability like? I'm, I'm, I've mentioned scenarios where I've liked it, it's worked, and it's worked quite well. Uh, I would say for me, on a day-to-day, -day, it's been very easy to use, but also slightly clunky. I have to admit, this is not a thin or light device. It's something you will definitely get used to, but it does have some weight and the sizing is more than your traditional smartphone. If I take my Galaxy uh, S21 Ultra and put it next to each other, you can see how thick the other device is from one another. Now, of course, when you open it up and you lay it flat, it feels nice and comfortable. Now, the other thing, of course, is that S Pen. I love the way it works on this device, and I love that the fact that it supports an S Pen, but there's no housing for the S Pen. As you can see, I'm using a custom case here for the S Pen, uh, and it's really nice. It's much better than the Samsung case. And I actually did a TikTok of various cases that I tried on this device, and I'm glad there are lots of cases for it, but it kind of highlights the problem you have with the Z Fold 3 is that you cannot, of course, store that pen successfully. And even this looks good, but again, it creates a bulge and it doesn't allow the device to lay flat if I, I'm actually using it close. 
Now, the other thing, of course, is that cover display. It's great to have something that gives you, um, you know, full access to your device without opening it up, but it also limits with the width and also uh, uh, limits with just overall usability. I tend to open up my device and start typing as if I'm using it on a larger display. And that's just something I felt more comfortable with. And that allows me to use more of the multi-task functionality, being able to use, uh, you know, uh, three apps at the same time and also having enough real estate to actually navigate those apps quite effectively. I mentioned gaming earlier and gaming really is something that excels on this device. This is probably the best way to game. I would, I would tell anyone if you're a gamer and you have this because you've got the Snapdragon AAA processor, you've got enough RAM to do all the things you need to do and you've got the real estate for that gaming experience. Now the question begs to be answered. Who is the Galaxy Z Fold 3 for? Is this for the everyday user? Absolutely not. Because of course, number one, it retails for about, you know, uh, $1,800 and it's not priced like a regular smartphone. Now you can get various deals. There's some that give you, um, you know, if you basically sign up for a new account, it drops to a thousand dollars. You can get rebates from Samsung and so forth. Uh, but this device truly is for the power user who wants something that allows them to do more device tasks at the same time with a single device. So whether you travel a lot and you need to watch content, you're checking email, you're actually doing work from your device, this will work out very, very well. This real estate is an awesome canvas for you to actually do a lot of work, but also have fun and play at the same time. I think that is the user this is targeted for, and I think that is why we saw the inclusion of the S Pen to bring more functionality to the table. Um, I think overall, all the other features are solid. I really don't have any complaints about the device other than the ones I've stated in this video. There's nothing major. I do want to see a redesign of uh, the Galaxy uh, Z Fold 3 to be slimmer, uh, um, you know, a hinge to be more robust as well as also less of a crease. And that kind of brings to mind the Oppo Find N, which we just saw a glimpse of um, from Oppo. And yes, I will be receiving that device pretty soon. So you guys will see a comparison and also what that device actually does. So stay tuned for that video. And at this point, I'll tell you, I'll see you over on that video. Enjoy entertainment.